I think I'm live. Good morning. It is Wednesday and the dogs are here. Maybe it's just the season. They like to be here better when it's warmer outside. Um, it's Wednesday and we're doing Bar-ish Boot Camp, which means you just need enough room to step forward, side, and back from wherever you're starting. Hi, Edie. The dogs have gotten their cue to get out of the frame. So um, if you have a mat, that's an added bonus, not 100% necessary, but awesome if you have it. Then I'm also using my weighted bar, my body bar. Mine weighs 12 pounds. You do not have to use one of these. You can use a set of dumbbells. I recommend between five and seven pounds each. Um, if, you, if you have something like this, you can use that. Um, if you're looking for one and you need a discount code, let me know and I can send you one of those. But mine's from thebodybar.com. I think that's their, their website. And um, then also spry, S-P-R-I.com has a weighted bar as well. You're welcome to do the class with no resistance at all. It will still be effective. So we'll, um, that's all, all you need. I'm keeping a couple of towels nearby. Um, I would advise you to do the same, but again, not a big deal. I also keep a fancy um, wine glass full of water um, hidden over behind the piano leg because of the dog traffic. I will be having a straw in mind because my dental work is still in play. Uh, if you're watching this class after the fact and not live on my YouTube fitness channel, um, thank you for subscribing to that, sharing, telling a friend, liking the video. If you're wondering how to get to that channel, there's a link in my Instagram bio, or you can view all the classes for the last, I don't know how many months, in my IGTV. However you'd like to do it, I'm just saying there's no excuse. You can always find a workout. So, um, thank you to everybody who's been able to throw a donation into my Venmo or my PayPal. Um, or my snail mail, I do appreciate it, is keeping this going. And I forgot to mention that um, if you're working with an injury, make sure you stay with the first or second level of everything that I'm doing today. And if you have an injury that you've seen a doctor for, make sure that you are cleared to do this before you do it so that you don't aggravate anything further. Hi, Steve. Um, the, the format, if you're new to this, we do a rhythmic warm-up that has a little bit of a yoga flavor. It has a lot of upper body stabilization built right in. So anytime we're in a plank, you can feel free to put your knees on the floor or not. I'll give you the option. We'll move from there into a resistance section with a bar or a dumbbells or nothing at all. From there, we'll switch into some cardio intervals that all flow together. This is the international symbol for flowing together. And then we'll finish with core and stretch. And then the after party today will be upper body and a deep stretch. So you'll need dumbbells for that. All right, having said all of that, I'm gonna take a very careful sip on the right side of my mouth with my water. Oh, that's cold. Okay, woo! Having said that, let's stand up in the middle of your space and check around, make sure everything's clear on the sides. Stand a little bit forward in the middle of your space. Shoulders down and back. You can wiggle your toes. Wait in the middle of your feet. Bring your arms up here. Press your shoulders down and just lift your heels. I say just like it's easy to balance here. Give that a shot. And then find your chair squat. Then lower your heels. Push down to come up, palms together, feet wide. Sink your hips here, so your hips are under your shoulders. Knees over your ankles, but tracking the same direction as your toes. Pressing your palms together here. Shoulders down and back, wiggle your toes. Now try to lift your heels by shifting your weight to the ball of your feet, balls of your feet. And lower your heels, do that again. Lift your heels up and lower your heels, wiggle your toes. Push down, sink your hips here. So sink, press down to come up. Two more. Hold yourself in the down position. Wiggle your toes here. Push down to come up. Turn your toes towards me. Both arms come up. Forward fold, bend both knees. Let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up and slowly unroll. 
at the top, shoulders down and back. Find your squat by sinking your hips. Wiggle your toes, tuck your hips here. So tuck and extend, release. Tuck your hips, extend and release. Do it again, tuck your hips, release. This time, come all the way up. Feet underneath your hips, both arms up. Forward fold, either grab your elbows or let your hands fall to the floor. Whichever makes more sense for your hamstrings. Wherever you are, try to straighten your left leg and bend your right knee. Sitting to your left hip. Breathing while you're here. Chain side, straighten your right leg and bend your left knee. Sitting into your right hip. And bend both knees, let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up and unroll your back. One bone at a time at the top. Shoulders down and back, three, two, both arms come up, inhale, reach up, forward fold, unroll, in four, three, two, let's do it again, both arms come up, and fold, tailbone lifts up, unroll, three, two, palms together, find your squat right here, oh my wardrobe is crawling up, all right, one more, hold your squat, hold, wiggle your toes, Right fingertips to the floor, left fingertips reach up behind you, push down and come up, palms together. Let's do the other side, sink your hips. Left fingertips to the floor, right fingertips reach up to the ceiling behind you, push down and come up. That's our pattern. Let's take it in two counts, left arm up, one, two, come up. Other side, right arm up behind you. Let's try it in single counts here, so you'll sink Push down to come up. Again, sink, press, do it again for four. So it's four, three, two, and both arms come up. Inhale, reach up. Bend both knees far enough to get your hands to the floor and step your feet back to your first downward facing dog. Your heels press into the floor. Your tailbone lifts up where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Your palms press into the floor and your chest presses through your shoulders. From here, lower your hips to any plank. Wrists under shoulders. Maybe your knees find the floor, maybe not. Either way, push down and find your downward facing dog. And now two counts to plank. Lower one, two back up. Remember, your knees can come to the floor anytime you come to plank. One more. Hold your down dog. Both heels lift up together and lower. Lift and lower. Let's do four more. So lift and lower. Last two. Then hold your down dog and shift your weight to your right hand and foot. Bring your left leg up until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay right here or bend your left knee and open your left hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to your three-legged dog where you can stay or lower your hips to plank and bring your left knee to your left elbow. If you came down here, go right back up to your three-legged dog. You can stay here or come with me. Lower down for two. One, two, back up. Do it again. This time, hold your three-legged dog. Then both feet to the floor. Down dog in the center. And shift your weight over to your left hand and foot and bring your right leg up until you feel the stretch behind your left leg. You can stay right here or bend your right knee and open your right hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to your three-legged dog where you can stay or lower your hips and bring your right knee to your right elbow. If you did, go right back up. Three-legged dog here. You can stay here or come with me slightly faster, lower down in one, two, back up. One more time, lower for two, and hold your three-legged dog. 
both feet to the floor. Down dog in the center. Now lower your hips to plank. You can stay here or lower your knees. Either way, try to bring your right leg up next to your right hand. I do this in almost every class. See if you can wiggle your toes. Maybe your back knee finds the floor. Maybe you touch your knee. Maybe you reach your fingertips up to the ceiling. If you did, bring both hands to the floor, engage your core and return to plank. All right, let's walk through on the left side. Step your left foot forward. Check your toes. Maybe your knee is down. Maybe you touch your knee. Maybe you reach your fingertips up. If you did, come back to the floor, engage your core and step to plank. That's your pattern. Wrists under shoulders, try that tempo from here. Step forward, reach or touch your knee, back to plank, step, reach, back to plank. Do it again. You're welcome to go slower than this. Feel free to keep your knees on the floor. One more each side. Last time, then hold any plank. If your knees are still up, put them down. Release your feet, hips to your heels. Child's pose here, pressing your chest through your shoulders. From here, round your back up to a modified plank. Hands under your shoulders, stay here, or bend a little bit with your elbows, maybe a little further. Wherever you are, straighten your elbows, hips to your heels, child's pose, make it flow. Round up, hold or bend. Child's pose, do it again. Round up, hold or bend. If you're taking the bend, make sure your elbows rub on the sides of your rib cage. We'll go twice more here. Round up, hold or bend. Last time. On the next pass, modified plank, hold. Hold here, tuck your toes, then push down to find your down dog. Remember, your heels reach for the floor. Your tailbone lifts up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. From here, bring your knees back to the floor. Release your feet, hips to your heels. Let's make it flow. Round up, tuck your toes, down dog. Lower your knees, child pose. Do it again, round up. One, two, push down. Child pose. One more time through here, round up, push down. Lower your knees, child pose. This time, modified plank and hold right here. Hi, Karen. Shoulders down and back. Try to tuck your toes and lift your knees. Right hand to the middle. Rotate to your left for your side plank. Feel free to put your right knee on the floor. Either way, wrists under shoulders. Once you're here, maybe your top arm reaches towards me slowly and up. Then underneath your bottom arm, single count here to me and up and under. Do it again, over and up. Hold your side plank, come back to the center, find any plank, knees down or up, left hand to the middle here, rotate to your right, Maybe your left knee finds the floor. Either way, top arm will reach it slowly over your ear. And up and underneath. Now singles if you're ready. Towards me and up and under. Do it again. Pushing the floor away from you. Hold your side plank. Come back to the center. Find any plank. Knees up or down. Maybe you give your elbows a little bend. If you did, straighten them and tail the lift. Down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold, let your head hang. Your tailbone lifts up. Let your head hang as you unroll. At the top, grab a sip of whatever you brought to the party and or grab your resistance. I wish I'd put some warmer water in here to counteract the cold. Woo! All right, overhand grip on whatever resistance you're using. So that means if you're holding dumbbells overhand, 
Shoulders down and back. Feet hip distance apart. Your knees can wiggle here. Shoulders down, slow motion. Sink your hips. Push down, squeeze your glutes. So you're not gonna grip with your toes. You are not gonna lock your knees. Single count. Sink, push down. So you're squeezing your glutes. The floor is your own personal leg press. Two more. Last one at the top, hold. Lower your elbows here, wiggle your toes, press your bar up on a diagonal. Make sure your knees are not locked. This is your top position. Bring the bar back down to the shoulders. We'll do one of each. One squat, one press, sink down. Press on the diagonal, again, sink. Press maybe slightly faster here, so it's sink, press. You push down to come up. Maybe your left knee comes up at the top and then sink, press. Just two more. Last one, squat in the center, sink. Shoulders down and back. Two more. Then your left leg, slow motion, diagonally back. Now tap next to your right foot and single leg squat. One more diagonal, one, two, Tap, single leg squat, hinge the hip. Now up tempo here, single, sink, squat. So you're not putting any weight on your left toes at the squat. Sink, push down, single leg squat. Sink, push down. Let's do that again. Sink, touch, one more. And then both feet on the floor, just squat. We'll do the squat to press again. Shoulders down and back. Here we go. One squat, one press. Sink, elbows down. Diagonal press. Do it again. Up tempo if you're ready. Make it slow. Squat to press. Maybe your right knee comes up at the top. Change sides. Press. Two more. And then just squats right here. Shoulders down and back. Breathing in and out. Right leg, slow motion, diagonally back. One, two, tap. No weight, squat, single leg. Single pair. Sink, squat. Diagonally back. Sink, squat. Pajama producers out. Sink, press. I'm alone in my house. Kid is at horse camp. Pajama producers out. Just me and the dogs. And you guys. Sink. Tap. One more. Sink. Tap both feet on the floor. Just the squat here. Remember, no knee locking. If you're using dumbbells, keep them at your sides. If you're using a bar, flip your grip one hand at a time to under. Under. Shoulders down and back. As you squat, if you're using a bar, roll the bar to your elbows and lace your fingers. If you're using dumbbells, now's the time bringing from your sides to across your chest. Sure. Or use nothing at all, that'll work too. Feet wide, toes to the corners. Sink, pushing down to come up. So as you sink, there's no leaning forward. Hips stand underneath you, chest is lifted. Two more. Hold your hip sink, hold and pulse. There's a dog or two prowling around my tripod. Three, two, hold here. Lift your heels up, extend your legs, lower your heels. Sink, lift up, extend up. Tempo here, faster sink. Press up, sink. Two more, and then Hip sink twice. One more. Heels lift up twice. One more. Now one of each. Sink your hips. Heels lift up. Lift and lower. And now slightly faster from here. So sink, lift. Sink. So working through your feet. And then even faster here. Up tempo. Squat to press. Four to go. One. Two at the top, you'll hold, hold here. Bend your knees, lower your heels, wiggle your toes, come up just to sink. 
here and up. Two more. And then left heel comes up and pulse for three, two, rotate to your right. Do it again. Hold your dumbbells or your bar close to your chest for three, two, one more time. Three, two, right heel lift and three, two, rotate to your left. Do it again. Three, two, one. Do it again. Three, two, one more time. Three, two, center hips, sink, sink, press. Last two. Then bring your feet to parallel squats here. If you're using dumbbells and they're across your chest, bring down at your side. If you're using a bar, unlace, unroll. Flip your grip, one hand at a time. You should be nice and warm. Heart rate elevated, but not too crazy. All right, left leg up, behind you, then right. So it's a squat and a back leg extension. I haven't done this one in a while. Again, sink, lift. Two more. Hold your left leg up and hold right here. Pulse, shoulders down and back. Chest up. Now here's the tricky part. Press your left hip towards me. It's tempting to have it open, but close it. Press it towards me. Hold here, heel to the hip. One, two. So what you really want is not for it to come all the way to your hip, but to come about halfway. And at that halfway, you want to feel your hamstring grab and engage. Single counts here. If you're getting your heel all the way to your hip and you don't feel your hamstring, that's a clue that you want to take your knee further behind your hip. Two more. Hold your bent position. Hold. Pulse now as you pulse. Turn your left knee out to the side. Feel the difference in the glutes. Three, two, hold. Now bend your standing leg, your heels meet. Come back to the top. Again, bend for two single counts here. So you'll bend, press down, sink. Two more, I know it's a lot. Hold the top position, pulse for just four. Three, two, parallel squats. Woo, hello, booties. Before we do the other side, Feet wide, toes to the corners, sink straight down. That'll give you a little sorbet for your muscles. Sink, push down. Two more, then back to parallel. Squats here. So we'll set it up the same way. Turn a little bit more towards you. Breathing all the way in and out. Two more, right leg comes up behind you, then your left, so you squat lift, squat, lift two more, then hold your right leg up, behind you flex and pulse, shoulders down and back, chest up, press your right hip towards me, hold your pulse, bend your knee, bringing your heel towards your hip and extend, remember to press your right hip towards me, and then also remember if you're not feeling your hamstring, that means take your knee further back, single counts here. Just about halfway, let me show it to you. Can you see that? In and out. Let's do four more. So right hip presses forward, knee back behind your hip. This time hold your bent position and pulse. Do pulse, two, three, keep the pulse, but take your knee to the side of the room. Four more right here, so four. Three, two, hold, bend your standing leg, your heels meet. Come back, do it again slowly, one, two, single count here, bend, press down to come up, give me two more, one, again, hold for your four pulses, four, three, woo, parallel squat, hello, your booty's even now, I wasn't really breathing that much, feet wide, toes to the corners, here's your sorbet, that was it for our resistance stuff. We'll move on to our cardio drills. They're flowy, they'll all flow together. Parallel squats. Whether you're using a bar or dumbbells, set them down in front of you, palms together. Feel free to grab a sip of whatever you're drinking. I want to, but believe me, every time I do it, it is just, 
it's like a slot machine of whether or not it's gonna kill my tooth that is still in the midst of repair. So, I'm gonna try to refrain. Touch your knees, knuckles up, sink. I am gonna grab a towel though. Keep going, sink, press, sink. Do it again, sink, knuckles up, touch, knuckles up. Take a little step back as we will move forward on the next move. One more squat, palms together, just the squat. You know that one, keep it in your head. Two more. Then your left leg steps forward one time, together and then your right. As you step, your back heel pops up off the floor. That way you can sink your hips, knees right over your ankles, but the same direction as your toes. Your arms come down and up. So straight down, straight up. Easy enough. Let's do four more like that. So four, three, two, parallel squat. Touch your knees so they come down and straight up. Circle straight up. Palms together, just a squat. Those are your two moves. You know both of them. We'll put them together. We'll start with fours, twos, and singles. They'll alternate. Check it out. Touch your knees, knuckles up. For four, three, two. Here we go, left leg towards me, lunge, arm comes straight down, straight up. Belly button pulls in. Now squat, touch your knees for two. Again, step left, arm straight down. Then your right, squat, touch your knees. Now left leg towards me, once, arm straight down. Now what of each, squat, touch your knees. Left leg to me, squat, touch your knees. Right side, squat to reach. Left leg forward, squat to reach. Right leg, do it again, squat, lunge to me. Dog traffic. Now just the squat here. You'll notice, without a producer, that some things in my living room are just a little bit broke. Keep that move in your head, because you'll see it again. Try to be in the middle of your space. Shoulders down and back. Two more. Then your left leg goes to the back corner. Together, then right. So you're sort of making a V with your center position being the point. So back leg bends. Front leg stays straight. Bend, push off. Bend, push off. In the corner. So if you're on a mat, you're basically going from one side to the other. Cross your ribs and ankles. Wrists up over your head. Pull back like a bow and arrow. Again, pull, press, pull, press. Let's do four more just like that. Pull. Two more. Parallel squat, palms together. Keep that in your head. Keep your squat, but bring your arms up by your ears. Sink, press down, squeezing your glutes. Most of you know this. Half forward fold, reach up behind you. Come up, squat twice. Do it again. Half fold, reach up behind you. Come up, squat twice. We'll make it a little bit faster. Fold, come up, squat once. Fold, this is the rhythm. When you do your squat, I mean your fold, option to lift your heels in the fold. The squat is feet flat on the floor. If you're lifting your heels, option to get a little air by pushing through your feet. Twice more. Fold up. Once more. Just squats here. Shoulders down and back. See if you can talk. Check your heart rate by either making sure that you're able to speak but don't want to, or checking your gadget if you're wearing one of those. 
Make sure you can breathe all the way in and out. Just the footwork, diagonal back left, center and right. Two more. Now squat, fold. Come up, squat once. Do it again. And palms together, just the squat. So that's the footwork for the second combo. We'll try it with arms. We'll do it first in fours with two folds, then cut it down. Here we go, left leg goes back. Four of these. Three, two, fold, halfway, heel lift or jump, or feet flat on the floor, again. Palms together. So that was four, and then two. This time, one each side of the diagonal, then one fold in the center. That's what it'll be. Here we go. Left leg diagonally back just once. Fold once. Squat once. Palms together. Let's see if we can do that twice in a row. Ready? Left leg diagonally back. Pull other way. Fold once. Squat once. Do it again on your left. And back. Fold once. Squat. Palms together here. Okay. Let's hook that on to our first combo. What was that? The squat knuckles up to the forward lunge with the arms straight down and up. Sure. Let's try it. Touch your knees. Step towards me left. And then squat. Towards me on your right. Step back diagonally. Fold once. Heel lift or jump. Palms together. Can we do that twice? Two combos together. Keep your squat. I'm going to give the music just a tiny bump. Sink. Come up. All right. Here we go. From the top. Squat. Touch your knees. Towards me. Left lunge. Straight down. Squat. Right leg lunge. Diagonal back. Left. Other side. Fold once. Up. Squat from the top. Squat. Touch your knees. Left leg. Arm straight down. Squat. Right leg. Diagonal back. Other way. Fold once. Heel lift door jump. Palms together. Squat. See if you can breathe. Make sure you can talk, but not really feel like it. All right. Keep those in your head. But moving on, this shirt, I love it, but maybe it's the leggings. Maybe they're too slip slidey. Shoulders down and back. I'm gonna grab my towel. Ooh. It is sweaty in here. All right, make sure your sides are clear. Make sure you have room in front of you. Step forward on your left, back heel stays down. You turn a little bit to the corner. So out, together. Your front leg's gonna bend, and then both knees bend. The way you rotate from corner to corner is by unloading your back foot at the front of it. So you take a little rotation on your back heel. Sink, push against the floor. Optional arms to reach up behind you, reach up behind you, chest stays lifted. Sink your hips, maybe both arms up. Sink, both arms up. Sink, arms up. Two more. Parallel squat, touch your knees. So that's the first part. Feel free to do any layer we did. Maybe just the hip sink. Maybe not a hip sink and the arm reach. Maybe half of the arm reach. You decide. Lots of options. Now, the other piece. This time, hold your squat. Left leg goes out. Come up. Squat, right leg goes out. Squat in the middle. So that'll be smoother, but there's the weight transfer. So it's out, up, out, up. 
your legs slide down, easy enough. Remember the warm up? We did this rotational reach. Do it again. Let's do four more. So sink, reach up, not down, but definitely find your single leg squat here. Just squat here. All right. Remember the step forward option with the hip sink. So both knees bent when you step forward, but slightly turned out, as opposed to parallel squat slide. Sure, just the feet, step forward, sink, push, sink, push, chest to the corner. Now left leg slides out, slide, together, slide, together. Let's do it again, just the feet, left leg, sink, so you sink down, push down and come up. Left leg slides out right here. Maybe you reach together. Reach, push down to come up. Step towards me, legs and arms. Sink, push down to come up. Two more. Left leg slides out here. Four, push down. Three, two, parallel squat. That's it. Can we hook that on? Let's go from piece number two, which is the diagonal back and the full swing. But first, see if you can talk. If you were in a gadget, check it here. Or make sure you can talk, but you feel kind of breathy and you'd rather not. Wiggle your toes. All right, from the diagonal back, right here, diagonal back. Other way, fold once. Heel lift or jump. Diagonal back, left side. Other way, fold once, heel lift or jump. Here it is, step towards me, sink your hips. Again, two more. Left leg slides out, rotate and reach, four, together. Three, two, just the squat. Now, on the next pass, let's take that last combo and break it down to just two. Two step forward, two slide squat. Let's go from the diagonal back, right here and. Other way, fold, heel, lift, or jump. Step towards me, sink down. Other way, slide, squat, rotate, reach. Parallel squat. Now, I'm gonna move a little something off my mat that's under my foot. No doubt, brought in by dog. Can we go from the top? Sure. Remember the top? It is a squat reach, forward lunge, arms straight down and up. Let's rehearse. Touch your knees towards me. Make the movement small if you need to. Now diagonal back here. One more. Fold once. Heel lift or jump. Step towards me once. Other side. Oh, what is it? Oh, this? I blew it. Parallel squat. All right. That's why we reverse. We'll try it again for my brain. Oh, and it was going so well. All right, make sure you can wiggle your toes from the top. Squat, touch your knees. Towards me on your left. Forward lunge, squat. Towards me on your right. Diagonal back left. Other side. Fold swing. Yep. Now step towards me on your left. Maybe you sink and reach. Left leg slides out. Reach up behind you. There it is. Parallel squat. We'll do it one last time. Then we'll, then we'll move forward. Squat, reach up. Towards me left. Arms down. Squat to reach. Towards me right. Diagonal back left. Towards me, sink your Oh, oh, blew it. Ah. Squat, all start. You know in the Olympics, how sometimes a swimmer goes off the block and everybody goes, it was before the gun. That's what I feel like is happening today. Okay, let me get my head together. From the top, ready, squat, touch your knees, 
Towards the lunge left. Squat, touch your knees. Towards the right. Diagonal back here. I know it. Full swing once. Squat. But now I don't know it. It's a step forward. Wow, let me just tell you what's happening. Because of my tooth, I've hardly been eating anything. And this is what happens when your brain is malnourished. All right, I have it. Third time's the charm. Here we go, squat, touch your knees. Towards me on the left, lunge. Do it again, squat. Towards me, right. Diagonal back left. Here it is, we fold, swing right here. Step towards me on your left. Maybe you sink and reach. Left leg slides out, reach up behind you. Parallel squats. Wow, that wasn't even that complicated. Okay, let's pedal or hop. So you can pedal here or hop. Either way, you'll step out to wide here. So pedal, step or hop, jump. Once more, hold it here, wide squat. Reach and pull. Hi, Amy. Whoo! How's my very lightly nourished brain? Two more. At the top, palms together, just a wide squat. Shoulders down and back, knuckles together. Thumbs at your chest. Now we'll try to get through this thing and cue it. It's not easy to cue. Thumbs to your sternum, hold at the top, rotate right. So right, right, not left, but just right and center. This is your base move. Hip bones, knees and toes, face me, thumbs on your chest. Maybe your right knee comes up on one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Maybe you touch your knee. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you're here and you want a little more, maybe you touch your ankle. Rotate knee or ankle or none of it. Up. Up. One more. Hop or paddle here. Just hop or paddle. Four, three. Let's do two and step or jump. One, two, step or jump. One more, arms finish up, wide squat. Sink, reach and pull, pushing through your feet. One more, squat but palms together. Shoulders down and back, knuckles together. Thumbs on your chest, rotate left. Thank you, Evie. My brain is just a little dehydrated and a little hungry. Every time I eat, so painful. You're ready to bring the knee into it. On one, here we go. One, two, three. To your left, left. One, two, three. Maybe you touch your knee. On three. One, two, three. If you're here and you're ready, ankle maybe. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. Hop or pedal here. Hop or paddle, feet parallel, squat, and sink. Push down. See if you can talk. Take your feet wide, toes to the corners. Sink your hips. Fingertips up, out to the side. Sink. I don't get my little permanent porcelain thing in my mouth until next Wednesday. What? Yep. Can't wait. Hold it down this time, hold. Little pulses, so shoulders down and back. Left heel comes up. Lift, rotate, center. Other side, right, rotate, sink, and up. Left side, sink, rotate. Heels down, right heel comes up. Rotate, left, push down. Left heel up, rotate, do it again. Right heel up, rotate, center. Left heel. Rotate, one more each way, right heel up, rotate, last time on your left heel, center, palms in the center, 
Alrighty. Pulses together or jump. Arms up, sink down and pulse for three, two, one. Together and out. Three, two, one. Together and out. The together might be a jump by pushing down. Two, three. Together and out. Three, two, one. Together and out. Three, two, just a hip sink. Woo! Can you breathe? Can you talk? Feet parallel. Squats here. Recovery squats. Shoulders down and back. Both arms up. Inhale, reach up. Squat, hands on your legs. Tuck your hips. Release, extend your spine. Do it again. Tuck your hips. Release. This time, tuck and round. Stay on your feet. Grab a sip of whatever you brought to drink. Definitely towel off. Ooh, heart rate is so high. Turns out that water and nutrition are very important. But just so you know, water is such a huge deal because if your muscles are dehydrated, it's like trying to utilize a rubber band that is dried out. You know how it doesn't come back? That's what happens to your muscles when they're dehydrated. So having said that, cheers. And by the way, Edie, it wasn't the cup. I had just bumped it and spilled it a little bit. Okay? If I start to make crazy faces, it's because the water got on the tube. Wow. Sunny's yard. I'm taking an extra towel, putting it on the mat. You're welcome to go with or without. I'm turning sideways. Let's grab one of your towels. Take it wide, no slack in it. Sit up tall, shoulders down and back. Now, I will say this about the dental work. First of all, it was unexpected. Secondly, I don't recommend it as a weight loss method, but it is effective. My pants feel just the way they should now after a week of barely eating. All right, tight, no slack, shoulders down and back. Sit up tall, knees bent. So half curl down. All right, so as you curl, you're pulling your towel out to the sides. I might have to sneeze here. As you curl, bring your towel up on a diagonal to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. So curl, reach. Now as you curl and reach, let's try it on a diagonal towards me. So curl, rotate to me. Now away from me, curl, rotate. Do it again. So try to keep your feet on the floor and use your core to resist the curl position. Do it again. Curl, reach, rotate. Curl, reach. Do it again. So not forgetting to come up tall in the center. That'll engage your center muscles on your back. They're important. It's what keeps us upright one more time. This time, curl straight back. Curl back and hold. Maybe your front leg extends up. Set it down. Back leg. Set it down. So you're trying to get it right up against your towel. Yes. Definitely on the bright side, Evie. Four to go. Tail pulls out to the side, shoulders down twice more. Then forward fold, knees bent. Wrap the towel around your feet. Slide your legs out, keep them bent or straighten them if you're able to. Round your back, release your low back, actively separating your shoulder blades. Chin to your chest. Breathing all the way in and out. One more inhale. On your exhale, flex both feet. Eyes up, shoulders, and your body. At the top, release your towel. Wow, before I release it, I'm just gonna towel off. Woo! Okay, tuck your hips, fingertips out to the side. Roll down one bone at a time into the floor or mat. Bring your knees into your chest. So I'm going to scoot a little forward. Knees into your chest. And rock your knees side to side. Again, I like to extend my top leg 
as I rotate, find that it really gets the glute stretch all the way up into the bottom of the center muscles on your back. One more. Onto the center. Shoulders down and back. Palms next to your hips. Shoulders down. Untuck your hips. 90 degrees at the hips. And the knees, calves parallel to the floor. Belly button level to your pelvic bone. From here, try to extend your legs out on any kind of a diagonal. Whatever works for you. So if it's further up, that's okay. The lower you go, the more resistance you cause. Hold this. This is your point of control. Your core is resisting the weight of your legs. Palms on the floor. Hold or take your legs out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Resist the weight by keeping your spine neutral. Shoulders down. Neck release. Let's do four more from here. So four together. Three, your legs are just your dumbbells for your core. Hold your point of control. Find your chair pose. Extend your fingertips to the ceiling. Inhale, take your arms up over your head. Exhale, circle your arms around on the floor. Squeeze underneath your armpits to roll your shoulders up. From here, you can hold or pulse. As if you were pulling ropes straight down from the ceiling. Now remember the point of control. You're welcome to take your legs out of the diagonal. Squeeze underneath your armpits. Make your legs go out and in. So out, in, out, in, out, in. Let's do four more times like that. So four, three, squeeze under your armpits. Two, and one, and release. I don't know where guy is. I thought he'd be here. I didn't check my Instagram messages. Maybe he sent me a message saying, you know, he's always remodeling something in his house. So that could be where he is. Hold center. Untuck your hips. Belly button level to your pelvic bone. 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. Arms out to the side, palms up. You want to feel your shoulder blades pressing into the floor. The legs are your dumbbells. Rotate them towards me for one. Two, pull back to the center. Other way, one, two, and center. Exhale as you rotate towards me. Inhale as you come back. Exhale for two. Inhale, do it again. Exhale, rotate, resist. Inhale, do it again. Exhale for two. Inhale, do it again. Exhale for two. Inhale, exhale. Go one more time each direction. Exhale, rotate over for two. Inhale, last time. Exhale for two and hold in the center. Extend both legs up. Cross your ankles. Bend your knees to the corners. Fingertips behind your ears. Squeeze underneath your armpits to roll your shoulder blades slightly off the floor. Crunch everything together. One, two, exhale. As you go away from the middle, for two, exhale. Resist the weight of your arms and legs as you go away from the center. Inhale, exhale, do it again. Inhale, for two, exhale, do it again. Inhale, for two, exhale, do it again. Inhale, for two, exhale. This time, hold your crunch. Little pulses right here for eight. So eight, seven, Hips and shoulders closer together. Three, two, release. Knees all the way in. Then set your feet on the floor. Heels close to your hips. Palms on the floor. Tuck your hips. Push down to your feet to lift your hips up to your bridge pose. Diagonal line from your shoulders to your hips and your knees. Your toes can wiggle. Either grab the sides of your towel or mat or lace your fingers together underneath your booty and tuck your shoulder blades closer together. Either way, you can breathe in and out and wiggle your toes. If your fingers are laced, unlace them now and lower your spine. Bring your knees into your chest. Cross one leg over the other, doesn't matter which. Grab your knees or slightly further down and pull your knees into your chest. Ooh, that seems like it was 
I guess this is his turnover. Seems like a short playlist. We're not even at an hour. And really change sides. Grab your knees or further down and pull your knees into your chest. I feel like places are asking their employees to come back into work physically. Is that the case? Do we know? Do we know anybody who's going actually back to work? Like physically back to work? And release. Set both feet on the floor. Front knee comes into the chest. Extend your front leg up only far enough to feel the stretch behind it. Your back leg can stay where it is or it can walk out to any point of flexibility. Either way, flex your front foot, bend the knee to the chest for two, send the heel up. Do it again. Flex, bend, send it up. Once more, flex. Bend this time, hold your extension, but only far enough to feel the stretch. Behind you, it does not have to straighten. Front arm, anywhere on the inside of your front leg, push the leg towards me, only as far as you need to, to feel the stretch on the inside of your leg. Back hip presses into the floor, flex both feet, heels pressing out to the walls, and then bend your front knee, Back to the center, front arm reaches out towards me, back arm across your bent knee, take your knee away from your screen, but keep reaching out with your front fingertips for your full spine rotation, and then come back to the center, change sides, front foot on the floor, extend your back leg up until you feel the stretch behind it, maybe your front leg walks out, Either way, flex your back foot, bend the knee to the chest. One, two, send the heel up. Do it again. Ooh, my legs are sore. Woo, again, flex. Bend this time, hold your leg up. Doesn't have to be straight, just have to feel the stretch behind it. Back arm goes on the inside of the back leg. Push the leg a little bit out to the side until you feel the stretch on the inside. You use that a lot. Front hip presses down, flex both feet. Where are your shoulders as they crept up? Breathing in and out. Then bend your back knee to the center. Lots of people going back to offices. Oh, only they, yeah, got it. Back arm out to the side, front arm across your bent knee. Take your knee towards me. So if we've had the vaccine, I don't know how we feel about that. Do we, I, I, I have gone in to teach a class. It is nice, but the classes are so short. They're only 45 minutes. And come back to the center, and they're not back to back. Both feet on the floor, flip over onto your stomach. I'm gonna keep doing these at home so people can do anytime they want. Both arms out in front. Front arm reaches back. Try to grab where your shoelaces would be. Heel to the hip. Hip to the floor. Maybe you bend your back elbow and make a fist to rest your forehead on. Feel this stretch in your quadriceps. And then carefully release. Change sides, back arm reaches around. You're welcome, Edie. Heel to the hip, hip to the floor. Maybe you bend your front arm. Either way, you're breathing in and out. If you can, take your front arm back around and grab where your shoelaces would be. If you're not quite here, grab your heels or your pants. Once you're here, push your feet into your hands and lift your knees. Maybe you lift your chest and open your shoulders. Four, three, two, carefully release. Hands inside your chest. Press your chest up and hips to your heels. Child's pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. Then round your back up to a tabletop. When you get here, tuck your toes. Then round your back, separating your shoulder blades. Push your hands and feet into the floor to lift your tailbone up. And walk your feet up towards your hands. Let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up and slowly unroll. When you're all the way up, Shoulders down and back. All right, that was our class. I'm a little dizzy. So five minutes. I think it's gonna be me and Steve for after party. So what we'll do, 
Now I'm here Friday. So we'll do towel, small dumbbells. And then um, don't forget that in, in July, starting like the after 4th of July, I'm gonna switch class to Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. And then pop up some Saturdays depending on what my crazy schedule. I feel like I can be more consistent. It'll be nice change after 18 months. So thanks you guys. I'll see some of you in five minutes.